All right. Hello. Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, the last day of the month. Yay. Then we start April and hopefully warm weather will be coming soon. <clears throat> All right. So boys and girls, we're going to get right into it. I've got a really cool story that I want us to read today. And I picked this one because I think it's something that sometimes we can all relate to, okay? So I'm gonna share the screen so that we can open it up. And this story is called Dolly's Drama Queen Day. So let's make it big and let's make this bigger. There we go, all right. Dolly's Drama Queen Day, written by Russ, Boyak and illustrated by Danny Jones. Well, we can tell right from the first picture, I think this is Dolly over here, and I don't think Dolly's too happy, right? And I think this is probably, who do you think this is? Yeah, this is probably Dolly's dad, and he seems like he's trying to help her and trying to see what's going on. Let's get into the story. Remember, our focus today is going to be on the characters. What do they look like? How do they feel? Okay, let's, let's go. All right. Huh. You had a drama queen day today, Dad said. I did not, Dolly said. Oh, look at that face. Does she seem happy right there? You cried when your hair looked bad. Dad said. You stomped around when your shirt was too small, Dad said. You kicked the wall when your pencil broke, Dad said. Oh, that's not good. You held your breath when I was busy, Dad said. You yelled when your milk spilled, Dad said. You sobbed when it was time for bed, Dad said. You screamed when your toothpaste tasted funny, Dad said. It was the worst day ever, Dolly said. It wasn't my favorite day either, Dad said. Let's make tomorrow better. Oh, let's look at Dolly and Dad's face right here. Do they seem as sad or as upset as they were in some of the other pictures? No, I don't think so. All right. So I picked this book because it was pretty quick, right? It was pretty easy. Um, not as much of a challenge for some of us. But I picked it because guess what? Dolly was going through some emotions in this book that I think we've all gone through. And now some of us might be going through them a little bit more, right? And here's the main idea behind this. It's okay when we're not feeling our best. It's okay if we have a drama queen type of day, right? But the goal is that we always want to make the next day better, okay? So we might yell and get upset when we spill the milk and we might cry when it's time for bed. And we might get upset and scream if our toothpaste doesn't taste right. And we might think that we're having the worst day ever. But guess what? Then we have a new day and we can always make it better. Okay? And that's why I picked this story for us today. So let's um, get out of the book here, right? And we're going to go to our whiteboard so that we can write... And I'm opening it up for us, guys. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Do, 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 do. So the first thing you want to do, right, is take your piece of paper and put it into four sections. You can either fold it in half or you can draw the four lines just like I do. I like to do this because it makes our sections smaller, right? This way we don't have, uh-oh, that was a line I didn't want. Let's erase that. Okay, this way it doesn't seem like we have this huge piece of white paper that we have to fill in, but we can do it in chunks, okay? So we're gonna start right over here. What's our first sentence? Can you guys say it before I even start writing it? I don't know, I can't hear you, but I'm gonna assume that you're saying it, right? 
I read a book called, you remember the title of our book? It was Dolly's Drama Filled Day, I believe. Let's just double check. I want to get it right. So let's go right back to Dolly's Drama Queen Day. There we go. All right. So now we can make this smaller. Do, do, do. Resume share. Okay. I read a book called Dolly's Drama Queen Day, right? What goes at the end of our sentence? Period. I started with a capital. Now we're going to go over to this side, and this is the one where you're going to tell me whether you like this book or not. And usually I don't go into a lot of detail. It's your choice whether you liked it or not. But today, I'm gonna write a sentence about this. And I'm gonna write, I liked this book because, okay, Dolly, because I feel the way Dolly feels sometimes. Sometimes is a big word, okay? Mom and dad, big brother, big sister might help you out with that one. I like this book because I feel the way Dolly feels sometimes. And guess what? As we said, that's okay, right? We all have drama queen days, all right? Um, and then again, maybe you didn't like this book and you know that that's a-okay if you don't like a book, right? But you got it. You got to tell me why, okay? I did not like this book because, and then you'll tell me why. Now, remember, our focus today was on the characters, right? And we had two characters in this text. So the first character was Dolly, okay? How do you think we could describe Dolly? What's like a very, very basic description for Dolly? First thing, she's a girl, right? She's a little girl or she's a young girl, right? Um, what's another description for Dolly? What do you think? Was she happy during this? Well, maybe right at the end, right? But for most of the book, how, how was Dolly acting? She was kind of mad. Maybe she was sad. Maybe she was that, right? And then at the very end of the story, how does Dolly get, right? Does she get happy again or does she get calm, okay? These are words that you can choose which ones you want to use, calm, happy, okay? Um, who was our other character in this story when we get over here? Our other character was dad. Whoa, Miss Pikes's keys are going crazy, huh? Character was dad. All right. So, how are we going to describe dad? What do you think? Was dad mad? Was he angry? Was he upset during this? Or how did he act with Dolly? Yeah, I would agree. I think dad was very nice, right? I would even say, was dad kind of helpful, right? And I think one more word might work, and that's calm. Dad was pretty calm through all of the drama queenness that Dolly was having, right? One more thing about dad, um, very obvious thing, right? We put it at the beginning for Dolly, was that Dolly was a girl, what was dad? For our description, dad was a boy or a man, right? All right, and those are our descriptions for our characters today. As always, I want you guys to work on this. I want you to perhaps draw a picture of Dolly or dad. Um, you can choose which one, or you could do both if you like, okay? And then when you're done, take a picture, send it to Ms. Pikes. Let me put my email down here once again, okay? E Pikes, that's me, at 
Berkeley 87.org. Okay, so you can pause the screen here. You've got what you need to be writing. Get this done, take a picture, and send it to me. Okay, so then I'm gonna erase all this and we're gonna do our journal for today. Okay, so we'll clear all of that out and we're gonna start with our journal. Now, you know that I'm gonna make some mistakes. I want you guys to find them. Okay. Today is Tuesday, doo, 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 doo. March 31st, 2020. Okay. Today, I am going to make a list of 10 animals, okay? So that's what you have to write. And then you have to go down and make your list, right? One, two, three. When you're done making your list of at least 10 animals, can be any animals, animals that you have, animals that you see, animals that you love, animals that you might want. I know an animal that I would want is a horse. I can't keep a horse in my house, of course, but if I could, I would, right? You guys know how many animals Miss Pikes has. I have a tiny zoo at home. So once you make your list of 10 animals, then I want you to draw a picture. You can either do 10 small pictures and show me all the animals, or do a big picture of just your favorite, or any combination, okay? But I need you to take a look at my sentences here, okay? I see one, two, three, three mistakes in this sentence, okay? Remember, you have to make sure your sentences start with a capital and end with a period or an exclamation point, or if you're asking a question, ending with a question mark, okay? So let's read it one more time, see if you can find those mistakes. Today is Tuesday, March 31st. 2020. Today, I am going to make a list of 10 animals. Then I've numbered my paper, you'll make your list, and you'll draw your pictures. All right, boys and girls, I want you to have a great rest of the day. I will virtually see you tomorrow. Take pictures of your work, put it up on Dojo. All right, guys, I will see you later.